Yesterday we made a toothbrush, today we're going to build an environment for the toothbrush so we can make some animations, so we can put this in our portfolio, so we can maybe send this to some companies and maybe get some paid work. If you haven't seen yesterday's episode, then go check that out. We don't need any more introduction, let's get busy. First, we have to make a little bit of a charging station, which we're going to place at the base of the toothbrush. Then we can make a little countertop or something else and we can build a little scene out of this. So I'm going to select a vertex right down here in the middle of one of these toothbrushes. Shift S cursor to select it. Shift A, give me a circle. Let's give that circle 16 vertices and we're probably going to subdivide this. We're going to lift that up to around here somewhere. This is how deep I want this toothbrush to go into the hole of the charger. Now we're going to scale this down, extrude this down on the Z axis, fill with F, then take these edge loops around the top. Extrude right click, scale this up lower it down a little bit now extrude this down on the z axis place the 3d cursor on this vertex loop right here set the pivot point to 3d cursor shift the right click scale to minus one on the z axis we're going to make the bottom flat because otherwise this shit is just going to fall over and that's no good give me a loop cut over here i want to have a little bit of a curve here select these edges around a hole here and bevel those with control b i want to have two segments shape value one i'm also going to bevel these edge loops over here give me a subdivision surface modifier object shade smooth i want this hole to be a little bit bigger so this can go a little bit deeper now let's put the toothbrush in there i think that makes a little bit more sense in material view the white toothbrush is going to have a white charger the blue toothbrush is going to have a blue charger so we're going to select this charger right here and give it the same material that we have on this toothbrush over here now we're going to make a little charging case here's how we're going to do that shift a give me a cube place the cube back here somewhere give me control three for three levels of subdivision surface apply the subdivision surface modifier add modifier deform i want a cast modifier factor one apply that with control a now this is a perfect sphere so now we're going to go to top view control r i want a loop cut right here then in wire frame view i'm going to select the right half and i'm going to push this out like this give me another loop cut over here so i can select this top half here i'm going to push that out to make this a little bit wider now give me a couple loop cuts over here and a couple more over here on this side i'm trying to add enough loop cuts so that i only have squares on the surface that way it becomes much easier to add more details to the surface so from side view i'm going to select a surface that looks like this inset with i until the corners become almost squares we might have to take these edges and slide them up or down a little bit with double g now we're going to place a 3d cursor right here and take these two vertices and scale them down a little bit this whole thing is a little bit too thin so we're going to inset with i and press o for outset that way we can push this outwards we're going to check edge rail here just to fix up the edges like this now with alt right click you're going to select this edge loop and bevel it with control b now with this edge loop selected and with this entire surface here selected you're going to press alt e extrude faces along normals and push this inwards a little bit like this select these edges over here and slide them inwards with double g control 2 for two levels of subdivision surface object shade smooth now we got to select some of these edges because we have to bevel them to make them a little bit tighter once we bevel the edges i'm going to select this little face segment here on the middle like this scale it up by three on the z axis and use alt s to push it backwards a little bit now we can also select a surface like this and inset that with i one more time now select this surface inset again with i extrude this out a little bit and then take this face loop on the inside here and extrude that backwards leave the faces at the bottom that's going to give us a little gap here which we're going to bevel with Control b to sharpen it now we got one charging case we're going to scale it up to around two again we're going to use the same materials that we use on the toothbrushes so first we're going to use the blue material we're going to select this piece right here and add a new material which we're going to name chrome make that metallic reduce the roughness duplicate the charging case replace the first material with the white material that's number 12 in this case we also got to fix up the uv map for these because currently you can see part of the logo so i'm going to place the uv map away from the logo so you don't see it on the object do the same thing on the other charging case like this now let's quickly prepare the scene so we can render this Place the 3D cursor to the world origin, shift A, give me a plane. I'm going to scale that plane up to around 10. Push this side further out and extrude this down to give it a little bit of thickness. Select everything and with control B, you're going to bevel it. Add a new material. I'm going to make this blue. I'm going to try to give it the same color as a toothbrush, but I don't want it to be quite the same texture. Place these two toothbrushes over here. We're going to place them right next to each other. Now place one charging case over here and the other one right behind it. I'm going to take the tip of the toothbrush right here and I'll place it down next to the toothbrush like this the same thing with the other one and i'm looking at oral b's instagram page and they have some sort of a cylinder placed right here on the side and i think that looks pretty cool so we're totally gonna rip them off let's add a circle with 128 vertices scale this up to around this size and place it somewhere over here extrude and scale down just a little bit to give it some thickness now extrude it up like this you want this to have the same material as the floor down here and now select all the sharp edges and bevel them with Control b object shade smooth i changed my mind i want this material here to be slightly lighter and slightly 
more rough. Now with Control Alt Zero, I'm going to align my camera with the view, place the camera somewhere around here, and I'm going to go to Output Properties. I want an aspect ratio of one by one, so let's render this with 1280 by 1280. Now we need a background, so Shift A, give me a new plane, flip that sideways, scale it up to around 10, scale it up by another two, place it somewhere over here. Now we just have to figure out the lighting. So let's take this area light right here, flip it sideways. We're gonna place that to the side right here and crank up the power. Then I wanna have another one of these over here on this side. Now I'm gonna add a couple of cubes to the environment because the cubes are gonna be visible and reflection on the toothbrush. And that's going to make the scene look a lot more detailed. So it's always a good idea to do this type of shit. You might want to add a bathroom HDRI or something similar. I'm not gonna do that this time, but make sure that you're paying attention to the reflections in your objects. That's really important in achieving realism. Now it's on you to play around with the lighting a little bit and try moving the lights and placing them differently and changing the colors. You gotta try messing around with the position of the camera. You can add a little bit of depth of field if you want to. I'm gonna select the camera, check depth of field. I'm going to set the distance to whatever the distance of the toothbrush is. And I'm gonna reduce the f-stop value to make the background objects a little bit more blurry. You might want to pull the camera backwards a little bit and then instead increase the focal length. Before you know it, you're gonna have a beautiful scene. You're probably gonna have to do a little bit of post-processing. So later you're gonna be able to save this image, take it into Photoshop or something, adjust the brightness to contrast the saturation and all this. And that's it for this video. Tomorrow we're gonna do something else. So let me know what we should do tomorrow. Like the video and subscribe to the fucking channel. I'll see you in the next one.